Well, I think that um, the, the mother-daughter relationship in the Almighty sometimes is, is pretty central to it. Um, it's about a young person, played by wonderful Nora, mm-hmm. and um, who is suffering and has always suffered um, from, um, we think, from a, a quite severe mental illness. And it's um, her mother's job to try and find help for that when she's young and uh, try and figure out the right things to do. I think it's the kind of thing that you instantly have an opinion on and then suddenly when you see the world around it, it is so much more complicated than what your opinion might or might not be. Do not come expecting to have a a thesis that we are going to present to you because it it is a conversation around it and there are no easy answers around this at all. Mm. I found it uh, quite frustrating because you want a sort of like, this is why I'm doing this play and you need to, um, this is the message that we're trying to tell and this is what we want to awaken our audience to to this kind of thing. So at first it's quite frustrating because you don't know what side of the thing you're on and as soon as you like pick a an argument to follow, then you sort of like combat it with something else and like, yeah, but what about this? And what's lovely about the writing is that um, all the shifts that just naturally happen between mothers and daughters are absolutely there, so they can be absolutely at each other's thoughts one minute and then and totally fine the next, right, and, like, the yeah, next yeah. Yeah. and it just it shifts all the time, which is something that uh, as a mum is very recognisable yeah. to me. So it's very funny in places. I mean, I've, I've been running my lines with my 16-year-old daughter, yeah. and she's laughed out loud. So she's like, oh, this sounds a bit familiar. I'm like, mm, I've done it. <laughs> All three women in this production are very excited to have writing of this calibre yeah. and, and writing between the three women. Yeah. And it absolutely, as Kendall said in her interview in The Guardian, it absolutely passes the Bechdel test of what yeah. he's talking about issues that aren't about men. Nora and uh, the fantastic Sharon Duncan Brewster is playing Vivi and the psychiatrist. And great scenes between me and Sharon's character, so it's like we are all kind of. Uh, yeah. And then in the middle of it, there's this lovely Mike Noble playing, <laughs> <laughs> playing the only man in the play who's just like just being shoved <laughs> from pillar to post by all these like women. I think it's it's one of those things that's coming to the fore again, and hopefully we'll be seeing much, yeah. much more of this. Great parts for women of all ages, with with properly created characters, with, with stuff to say, mm. and, and relationships that are rooted in something real and passionate. Yeah.